So let's start first off with the visibility uh, in the hood down to the front. You notice that we dropped that hood way down. All right, so um, obviously that, that, that really affects the confidence that that operator has uh, when they're in that machine. If you can delete that hood out of the way and all you're seeing is glass and grass, right? You know exactly what you got going on all the way around. That's a real benefit to that operator. So um, to enable that, we did reduce the size of our CEM just a little bit, our CAD emissions module in here. Not a ton, but just a little bit, right? And we also put a different air filter in there. So uh, you'll notice that air filter is a little bit different as well too. So uh, that allowed us, again, drop that nose down and get that great visibility all the way around. So um, you also notice too, we've got the air cleaner on one side, the exhaust stacks on the other side. They're basically lined up with those A posts up front. And so you kind of don't see those either when you're in there, you can really see nicely down the front. So most of the time, dozer operators are gonna spend their time, you know, looking at the dozer tips and what's going on behind the blade here to see how much material they're spreading and spilling out. But occasionally, if you're doing a little bit of land clearing, you do want to see right out the front of that tractor as you're sneaking up on that tree or that big piece of brush to, to knock off there. If you've been around the last couple years with the D5, 6, and 7, you might have heard us talking about what we called heavy duty extended life undercarriage, HDXL. And so that's one of the options on this tractor is that HDXL undercarriage. HDXL has a little bit thicker bushing, a little bit thicker uh, rail on here as well too. And we've also done some work with that rail to pin interaction here, where we, we have a, there's a groove in the end of the pin and we swage some material into that, basically locking the pin and that link together. So that's really important when you have wider tracks and you get into situations where you're starting to walk those tracks a little bit, where you might wanna walk that link off the pin. This helps to keep that joint together and it keeps that oil uh, inside that joint so it can do its job and lubricate. So basically improving the durability of that track system for longer hours. It still is a serviceable track. If a customer did want to go ahead, push those pins and, uh, and, and bushings out, flip them over, put them back together, they could do that. Typically, you don't see that on this size of tractor, but we still made it serviceable if a customer did want to do that. So that's heavy duty XL, HD XL. The other option of track we have on uh, undercarriage is going to be uh, what we call system one. Okay, now we've done some work with System 1 and we've rebranded it. It's now called Cat Abrasion. And so Cat Abrasion would be the other version of, uh, of undercarriage available. That's gonna be our rotating bushing track. So Cat Abrasion reduces that extra uh, point of contact between the bushing and the sprocket. So we no longer scrub that, the bushing rotates with the sprocket. So it's done that for years and years, uh, but the update to Cat Abrasion gave us better seals, harder seal faces, uh, you know, at a seal that doesn't want to roll over, so we gave us a lot more durability in that sealing system. We have a version of cat abrasion called high abrasion. Cat abrasion, high abrasion. All right, now basically what that is is larger links, larger push, larger bushings, larger pins. Everything is bigger, which gives us more link life. So you think about where is the most abrasive soil in North America, and it's the Gulf Coast. <laughs> All of that stuff between Pensacola all the way down to the bottom of Florida and all the way around there, right? It's that sand. It's that really, really thick sand down there. Uh, put a lot of hours on them. They run them all year long. And that sand down there is really abrasive. And so